This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Amanda Starantino and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. COVID-19 is making it difficult for many Hoosiers to pay their bills, perhaps because of a loss of income or job loss, and this includes car payments. So Call 6 Investigates finds out what you can do if you fall behind or plan to fall behind on your car payments. This could help you rebound and recover quicker. The Federal Trade Commission says if you're falling behind on car payments, contact your lender now. Some banks, credit unions, and auto financing companies are letting people delay payments or renegotiate their payments payment schedules. If your lender agrees to any changes, make sure you have it in writing for later. Now see if you can refinance your loan. This makes sense if a lower interest rate or longer loan could make your car payment doable. Even if you have to miss a payment, don't be afraid to talk to your lender to learn about your options. And Call 6 Investigates also checked with the Indiana Attorney General to find out what your legal rights are in Indiana when it comes to your car payment and when it comes to vehicle repossession. We have that info up in this story on our website, theindychannel.com and the RTV6 app. It might be easier for you to vote by mail in the upcoming Indiana primary. There will soon be a new feature where you can request an absentee ballot online without having to mail in the application. The co-director of the Indiana Election Division made the announcement at today's meeting of the Indiana Election Commission. The commission had already approved a measure to let you vote by mail for any reason for the primary that was moved to June 2nd. The link to electronically apply for an absentee ballot should be at the website indianavoters.com by the end of this week. Well, you'll trade your sunglasses that we enjoyed during the day Wednesday to showers and an umbrella for Thursday. Rainfall, northern Indiana, not as heavy as southern portion of the state, may see anywhere from three quarters of an inch to almost an inch from Bloomington, Columbus, Greensburg, south, about four tenths of an inch in the metro area. Let's hop to the big picture. We'll dry out Friday. Then rain widespread again Saturday. Some of that could be fairly heavy in the southern half of the state. Sunday, we get a chance to dry out 55. We're back in the 60s next week. The chance for showers is there Tuesday and Wednesday. Amanda? Thanks, Kevin. For more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.